Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of AC3. In this episode, I was planning on doing some side missions, the homestead missions, just to upgrade it uh, as fast as possible. Maybe also upgrade the ship, just to get the whole economy going as soon as possible. The sooner uh, I get the homestead upgraded, the more artisans will be there creating goods which we can sell through convoys i understood and the sooner you do that the, yeah, the more uh, money you will make uh, throughout the course of the uh, playthrough instead of doing this uh, like first now going uh, halfway through the main campaign further it just makes sense to uh, to do it now and i also understood that are pretty fun missions building at homestead so that is the id and then maybe also this one. I'm not sure what tag lag missions are, but everything um, over here, these uh, little side missions, let's do them now. So let's start with this one, the homestead mission, which is somebody who is inside the homestead. So let's get there. And also what I'm wondering about, that whole crafting and trading and uh, the convoy dispatching menu i think that is only uh, in that ledger inside the homestead you can access it that's a little bit to craft web substitution you need to gain resources and level of artisans by completing homestead missions that's what we are going to do anyways um this is that ledger and indeed you can you have like to the top left you have a trading menu you have a crafting menu and now you have a stockpile I find it quite confusing you have a stockpile menu you have a crafting menu and you have a trading menu um, but if you cannot access when you're in the world and you cannot access that for for instance from I don't know this this menu over here the, the map which also has a lot of uh, sub menus and it's quite annoying because then each time you want to send a convoy out and stuff you always need to get back to the homestead which may sound like nothing much but of course we will often be in totally different areas like boston so that means to go over there go over there and then you have the fast travel here just to get to dispatch a convoy but i'm not really sure how it works there's by the way also a mini game over here um but for now let's see if we have some stuff that we can dispatch so stop pile browse all the items you own and purchase the ones available from your artisans I understood, I read, beaver hides are a good source of income, as well as bear hides. And also just hunting bears yourself, they are um, not that far away. There is like this bay area, which I think uh, is a bear area. Just hunting them yourself and selling it is apparently good, uh, it's quite lucrative. Um, resources. Connor himself also has resources uh, in blue to the bottom left, bottom right. Let's uh, see about that. We can buy stuff if we want charcoal, oak bark, and lumber. This is what we can buy, purchase. Let's buy some. We bought some oak lumber. And let's go to maybe crafting. Can we craft stuff? Arrows, baits, cart riches. What the hell are these? It's for the gun, I guess. Rope darts. By the way, I saw a very cool uh, video uh, on YouTube about rope darts. They are very handy tool also for a stealth approach you can really pull people out of a group if the rest of them are looking in a different direction 
like a, 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 a little p um, squad of military men uh, patrolling around. You can just um, rope dart the, the bad guy, pull him towards you, take him out, and nobody is uh, any the wiser. So that's pretty uh, handy. Snares we have, all right. There are also some special items. Holy shit, we can make quite a lot out here. Brass rings, plows, medical charts. I'm not sure why you would metal, why is this under metal work? Medical charts, a chart, it's like a map, right? An outline, uh, a written something. Not much to do with metal, I would say. Medical equipment. T. Ah, wait. Yeah, it's not under metal. I was looking down uh, the medical charge, down to that uh, the blue metal work uh, item, but that is just the it's a it's a row or a column of uh, different types of goods we can make, and metal is below medical. Anyways, um, yeah, metal work. So that's brass rings and plows. Need quite a lot of it. And you also have to upgrade your artisans sometimes. For instance, for this one, you see that Big Dave uh, needs to be upgraded. Um, anyhow, it requires lumber and four. Here we have the medical menu. Then we have foods. That's tea. Clothing. What do we have? Regular clothing. Coon skin hats. We need a raccoon. And some sewing threads. Foxtail scarf. And shoes. Then we have materials, barrels, flour, weapon handles. Right, and it's basically, I need a tailor, I need an innkeeper, I need a doctor, I need a blacksmith. Or maybe the blacksmith I already have, I'm not even sure. But that's what we, uh, we have to recruit people um, during these homestead missions. All right, these are the materials, then we have special items. Convoy capacity upgrade. Ah, I for sure want that one. We need to upgrade it. Pine lumber and kindling is what we need. Then we have a land convoy. One, three in inventory. Ability to trade with merchants. Yes, we also want that for sure. <coughs> Twin holsters could be handy, I guess. Less need to reload. Um. Yeah, so if I have pine lumber and kindling, I can, here, this one, oak, oak bark. If I buy oak bark, I can make this. All right, let's do that. And then over here, consumables, that is uh, arrows, bait. Ah, we already went through here, cartridges, rope darts, and snares. Anyways, let's build a land convoy. So let's buy. No, over here, we need an oak bark, this one. Thank you very much. I actually like this, uh, it's a little bit of a convoluted menu, I read about it. But I do like this, it's real, it really feels like an economy, so to say. Um, all right, and over here we have the same uh, categories, consumable special items, materials, clothing, food, medication and metal work. Uh, crafting, yes, that's what we want. Let's craft something. Let's craft this land convoy. Here we go. Amount craftable, I would say. Amount craftable, right, two. Unit cost 25. 
here we go. New item crafted, land convoy. Very nice. My inventory is full. Apparently. Um, Alright, over here, land convoy capacity upgrade. What do we need? Kindling and pine lumber. Let's see if we can get some kindling and pine lumber. Materials corner. Uh, I have a lot of stuff myself. Do I have kindling and pine lumber? Nope. Can I sell all this stuff? Purchase available resources from your local homestead artisan. Some resources will not be available until you level up your artisans by doing homestead missions. You can also view crafted and purchased items. Alright. Um, materials. Crafted items. Really is a little bit resources. For instance, you you scroll all down here, and for instance, uh, this is also a vertical column, and then the bottom entry is Connor. And indeed, if I move down, it says now it's highlighted. It says Connor, and then the sub menu is bear claws. Bear grease, bear pelt, etc. That makes sense. So now we go one up. Materials. Indeed, the main uh, the, the uh, heading of the highlight is materials, and then the sub uh, the, the subheading is barrels. Fine. But then you look up. We go one up, and it says crafted items. So you would assume or expect that when we highlight it. The main heading would also, just like here, materials or here, Connor, it would say crafted items. But we go there, and suddenly it's called forest. And that also implies that maybe there are also crafted items from non forest areas. I have no idea, but it feels a bit random, so to say, or a bit messy. And then also resources uh, that's like the title of this column resources. All right, fine. But anyways, what we needed was actually pine lumber and kindling. Let's see if we can trade that. Trade the items you purchase or craft with your artisans using lantern naval convoys to earn money. Lower the risk by completing liberation missions and privateer contracts. You can lower taxes by clearing forts. Shit, we cannot buy anything here. I wanted to buy something. Alright, uh, so for the meantime, let's just... Uh, send a convoy on route. Trading. What do we have? We have some oak bark. We have some barrels. Slots available. Two out of three. Man, this is really quite confusing. Two out of three. I have three convoy slots, right? Alright, um, materials, Connor, and he has a lot of crap. I'm not even sure whether these are also perishables, whether it will perish. Anyways, I heard that the pink beaver height was. Ah, bear hide was also very uh, lucrative. Right, let's do this one. Yes, 621. God damn it. Um, 
Let's go to Hancock store number five. That worked. Here we go. Another convoy. Do we have more bear stuff? Nope. Um, cougar pelts. Let's see what that fetches. 233. Let's just sell it. And the other one. It's a little bit annoying. But it doesn't immediately tell you how much you uh, can earn, or at least like an indication of the prices. You really have to select it in there, like so, and only then do you see the prices. And then if you get back, you are in the top, yeah, you are out of where you were in the menu. You have to scroll back through, through it. It is a little bit annoying. Is there anything? Uh, this is all hardly worth anything. Let's see if there's. And uh, there's also not really. I'm not sure whether it's sorted. Like for instance, is it going by price? No, because this is again. 104 is much more than uh, I think the bear grease or over here it was only like 20 for instance this one is 26 a cougar whatever it was here this cougar fangs it also doesn't show in this menu which product you have you have to Remember it, these are cougar fans, the fangs that they will pay 26 uh, pounds for. But then if you hit back, you're not even back to those cougar fangs. You are just randomly in the, in the top level of that previous menu. So then you have to go back. What was it I select? Ah, cougar fangs. Yes, it is quite, this could have been so much more streamlined. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's uh, see if there's anything that's a little bit more worth. Barrels 91. Yeah. I don't have. That's remove. Ah, wait, can't I? Select more than one. Yeah, I only have one of each. Right, let's go for the deer pelt maybe. 311. That's nice. Let's see if I have more deer pelts. No, only one. Alright, here we go. And that's Hancock store number five. Alright, so that is 1100 that we will earn. That sounds pretty good. Of course, there is a risk of 35% that it will be hijacked or attacked. There's a tax of 30% and there's travel time. Um, anyways, still a good deal, I would say. But goddammit, this is only for 1100. So that is a little bit more than 10% of what I had. And it takes quite a lot of time. Do I have more convoys? Here, there's one land convoy that's now underway. Do I have more? Because it below it says three. Three convoy at Homestead. Alright, let's see. Let's do that again. Here, I have more indeed. Nice. All right, I'm just going to um, sell everything quickly. This one, that one, this one, and send it. And then we do this one. Hmm. 
I even have more barrels. Like so. Like so. And there we go. Get rid of all the crap. Right, now what? Yes, now all the convoys are underway, so that's good. And now the only thing I really would like to do is um, this one. Convoy capacity upgrades. I need pine lumber and kindling, so that is really what I want to uh, keep in mind. And it is really annoying that I, I can only sell stuff from here, I cannot buy stuff. Alright, that was uh, longer than expected. Alright, here we go. Kana, it has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. Alright, is Connor suddenly... ...a painter now? Whatever, what was this mission? It's not even a mission. It's nothing. At least, not that I see. Maybe something here. No. Alright, I'm not sure what just happened. He said, like, we need to look what's happening during these times maybe i assume paint stuff in the time before uh photo cameras but i don't know how i oh god damn it man this happens too often that the game suddenly freezes um anywho i have no clue how to paint what to paint and where to paint yeah and i also have no idea where achilles suddenly went uh, by the way let's check it up check it out upstairs never been here yet at least not that i remember i assume we can all uh, yeah, get the, get this all upgraded and more uh, Wow, what's this? What's up with that painting? First expedition painting. You have earned this painting for completing the first expedition mission. Uh, this is probably our trophy room that you also have in... Um, in unity and probably we will be able to yeah, upgrade these rooms and put more um, furniture and what have you in them like i forgot the words sorry i'm just quickly going to see it's not yeah home decoration is that what i want to say uh, in this, uh, Yeah, it says decorating a house. What I meant to say is uh, putting furniture and stuff, etc. Ah, furnishings, I guess. Setting it up or furnishing.
I think that's the better term. Uh, I do think that we will be able to furnish these rooms uh, more later on in the game once we recruited more artisans and stuff. All right, just looking if I can interact with anything. Right, this looks to be like some kind of a weapons room. Looks a bit empty, I must say, this house. A dude. And also some dude. What do we have here? A map? Ah. This is the database. Right, we can also access that just from the menu itself, uh, in-game menu. All right, and we have some papers here. And let's quickly read through some. By the way, now I remember I wanted to actually before starting the um, homestead side missions in the previous episode in the ending i planned on to start this episode with reading the emails uh, in the modern day so i will probably do that because otherwise i'm saving up too much reading all for the end i do have to do some intermediary reading so before i will be doing the um, homestead missions i will be going to the modern day um, and reading up the emails of Desmond uh, because it were already quite a lot and also let's read some papers the Boston Massacre, Massacre on King Street doubtless our readers well know that on the evening of Monday last a squadron of soldiers formed before the custom house fired into a crowd of citizens killing four and wounding many uh, our readers will it's, it's really uh, annoying to scroll this because it goes immediately pretty far. It's very sensitive. <coughs> Can I do that with the mouse wheel? No. All right. Um, our readers will expect a circumstantial account of the tragical affair, but we hope they will excuse our being particularly cautious as we should be had we not seen that the town was Wow, what a sentence is this? Our readers will expect a circumstantial account of the tragical affair, but we hope they will excuse our being particularly cautious, as we should be, had we not seen that the town was intending an inquiry and full represented representation thereof. However, some all right, I don't, totally don't get that's this sentence. So the readers expect an account, and then they say, we hope you will excuse us for being cautious, as we should be. All right, so then why ask for excuse, if, if that is how someone is supposed to act, as we should be? And then it said, had we not seen that the town was intending an inquiry in full representation thereof. So, please excuse us for being cautious as we should be. And then it negates that, at, at least that's how I, tr I interpreted it, by saying, but we uh, saw the town uh, actually want a full inquiry. So, does that mean? that they are not particularly cautious anymore but we hope they will excuse our being particularly cautious as we should be had we not seen that the town was intending an inquiry in full representation thereof totally uh, yeah it's probably me but i don't uh, i find it a kind of a circle circular meaning of this sentence and also nonsensical 
meaning we hope they will excuse our being cautious as we should be. If, if it is as you should be, there is no reason to excuse yourself. All right, whatever. Um, however, some few facts appear to be established. Oh, I will read it one more time because it's probably just me. Our readers will expect a circumstantial account of the tragical affair, but we hope they will excuse our being particularly cautious as we should be. Had we not seen that the town was intending an inquiry as we should be, had we that the town was intending an inquiry in full representation thereof. Uh, okay, I think I get it. So they say um, the, uh, the readers want an account, uh, but yeah, please uh, excuse us. We will not do so because we uh, need to be cautious uh, because we know that uh, uh, a full inquiry is underway. So they probably don't want to uh, disturb the full inquiry by uh, re uh, writing about it uh, on based on assumptions in their newspaper. Okay, so but it's still for me it is uh, quite a convoluted sentence. Uh, however, some few facts appear to be established. So indeed, they only go by what they deem to be facts. Following upon an art altercation between some lads of the town and a single posted guard at the custom house, an increasing number of citizens came to that place and with heat shouted down the guard. In like manner, a large group of citizens gathered in King Street. Captain Thomas Preston perceived from the main guardhouse his soldier in distress and left the main guard with a party of men with charged bayonets. The soldiers came, pushing their bayonets, crying, make way. They took place by the custom house and continuing to push to drive the people off. Um, they took place by the custom house and continuing to push to drive the people off pricked some in several places on which they were clamorous and it is said through snowballs and perhaps portions of ice all right continuing to push to drive the people off pricked some in yeah i think that's missing a comma over there um, Man, these are annoying uh, entries to read. If you have no idea what it's about, clamorous. Making a loud and confused noise. Uh, one moment. Of course, I'm again writing it wrong. Alright, so it's indeed loud, but then who is loud? Oh, they took place by the custom house and continuing to push to drive the people of pricked some in several places on which they were clamorous and it is said yeah okay the people got clamorous probably uh, and threw snowballs and some ice the crowd taunting the soldiers shouting fire you dare not fire on this and more snowballs coming someone cried out damn you fire one soldier then fired man this scrolling is, is super annoying And the townsman with a cudgel struck him over the hands with such force that he dropped his fire lock and rushing forwards aimed a blow at the captain's head which grazed his head and fell pretty heavy upon his arm. Right again, one soldier then fired and the townsman with a cudgel. What the holy hell is a cudgel? Alright, this way it will take like three years before I get through this knuckle, so it's like a bet. Cut your meaning. A 
short thick stick used as a weapon. <coughs> Struck him over the head with such force that he dropped his fire lock. And rushing forwards, aimed a blow at the uh, a blow at the captain's head, which grazed his head and fell pretty heavy upon his arm. However, the soldiers continued the fire successively till seven or eight, or as some say, eleven guns were dis discharged. By this fatal maneuver, three men were laid dead on the spot and two more struggling for life. But what showed a degree of cruelty unknown to British troops, at least since the House of Hanover has directed their operation, was an attempt uh, to fire upon or push with their bayonets the persons who undertook to remove the slain and wounded. All right, again, super confusing sentence. But what showed a degree of cruelty unknown to British troops, at least since the House of Hanover has directed their operation, was an attempt to fire upon or push with their bayonets the persons who undertook to remove the slain and wounded. All right, so... Um, yeah, so just shooting a couple of people dead did not show their degree of cruelty, but what really showed their degree of cruelty was the fact that they um, also uh, shot um, to the people undertaking to remove the slain and wounded. The dead are Mr. Samuel Gray killed on the spot, the ball entering his head and beating off a large portion of his skull. I mulatto man named Crispus Attux also killed instantly two bulls entering his breast one of them in special goring the right lobe of the lungs and a great part of the liver most horribly what the holy hell is mulatto a person of mixed white and black ancestry Especially a person with one white and one black parent. Alright. Totally new to me. Uh, one moment. Just looking to see. What it means. in my native tongue all right so fine mr james coldwell mate of captain morton's vessel in like manner killed by two balls entering his back mr samuel maverick a promising youth of 17 years of age son of the widow maverick and an apprentice to mr greenwood woods ivory turner a ball went through his belly and was cut out at his back. He died the next morning. All right, what the hell is an ivory turner? God damn it. Is there even any ivory in America? Are there elephants? A skillful dicer. He used dice made of ivory for his gaming. All right, so that is has nothing to do with processing uh, tusks of ivory, but it is actually, um, I think, uh, a gambler. Mr. Patrick Carr, about 30 years of age, who worked with Mr. Fields, leather breeches maker in Queen Street, wounded. A ball entered near his hip and went out at his side, Appre apprehended he will die. And several others requiring surgery, suffering loss of blood, shattered bones, and lodged musket balls. Governor Hutchinson has exerted himself in an effort to quell the town. He ordered the arrest of said Captain Preston as well as the soldiers involved until such time 
as an investigation and general uh, ordering of the facts can be made. All right. Um, God damn it! I failed to save my convoy. All right. I did hear some sound effects while reading the newspaper. Screw that. Um, yeah. All right. I have to mind sound effects. Of course, I had the hut turned off. No, I had it turned on. It would have been nice if uh, there would be a hut notification while reading the newspaper. I mean, it's pretty um, easy for me to over see that. Um, anyway, sorry guys, this took much longer than expected. Ah, here we can actually look outside. Actually see the, the ship down below. Because other windows... Ah, here you can as well. Downstairs, the windows, I think, are more... What the hell is this? Alright, nothing. Ah, here you can also look outside. Downstairs, the windows were like opaque. You couldn't look through them, I guess. No, you can. Alright, that's weird. So when it's dark outside, you can look through them. Here, here, as far as I noticed, you couldn't. Anyways, um, sorry for that that took so long. I just want to quickly check out. By the way, let's check out the vegetable basket. Yeah, they even in these games they did such a good job with little details. Quite amazing. Um, I would just like to see which convoy failed. I really hope it was not the bear hide convoy of six hundred dollars. Um, here we go. A convoy has returned to the homestead. Profit eleven sixty five. Ah, that's nice. So that's the big one, I guess. A convoy has returned to the homestead. Profit one twenty. Right, and the other convoy, I guess, was uh, robbed. Ah, I also really lost the convoy itself. Bummer. All right, then I will make a new convoy in the next episode, uh, and also uh, send them out for some uh, new trading. Uh, and also in the next episode, as mentioned, I will be uh, reading the emails in the modern day. Um, yeah, so it will be uh, again a reading episode. And then after that, we will do the homestead side missions. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.